Hello everybody, this is Jakob Hommel from Heidelberg. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit the standard reports in Prenect Smart BI. That gives you a lot of opportunities to customize them for your company's requirements. Editing report is intended for the report creators. That means that you need administrator rights within the workspace Prenect Smart BI. Whenever you want to edit a standard report, we recommend you to make a copy of the original version first. That ensures when you received improved versions of the standard reports that you would also keep your own customized version. Otherwise, it will override your changes. To make a copy, just open the report and save as a copy of the report in the menu. Give it a name and start work with your own version. Open the report and simply click Edit Report and then select the visual you would like to work with. To the far right, that opens up for the report editor fanes. There are two fanes visible. That is the fields and the visualizations. The field fane shows you the data which is behind the visuals. These are the data fields that we deliver with the Prenect Smart BI service. We offer you a lot of different measures and dimensions, so it's really easy to find detailed data that makes a difference to your optimization process. The yellow highlighted fields indicates the data that are used inside the current visual that you just selected. In the visualization pane, you control what your visual looks like. Depending on the type of data, there's some visualizations that fits better than others. At the top, you can choose the type of visual, for example, a table, a pie chart, or like in this example, a bar chart. Simply click on another type of chart to change it. In this case, I'll just keep the bar chart. Below, you have three more important fanes, fields, format, and analytics. In the fields area, you manage the fields used in this visual. Depending on the type of visualization you just selected, you will get different kind of buckets like axes, legends or values. In this visual, I'm interested in the OEE value by device, so I have chosen device as the axis and OEE in percentage as the value. Additionally, I would like to see the OEE for each year, so I used the year as the legend. If I instead of year would like to see my OEE based on quarter, I would search for quarter in my dimension in the fields pane and just drag it over to the legend. Then you have the filter options below. They help you to reduce your data to see only what you're interested in. If I'm only interested in looking at data from my Excel presses, I simply just select them and the visual reacts accordingly. Remember when you work with the filters, they can be applied to the report in three different ways. Either you can apply a filter to a specific visual, or you can apply a filter to a specific page of the report, or you can apply the filter to the entire report itself. To customize your visual, you have lots of possibilities in the format pane. You can quickly change the title, the colors, the fonts, background, and even much more. If your company has a corporate design, it's pretty easy to make your visuals look just like that. Now, I'm going to change the colors of the bars. But look also at the other options you have inside this pane. In the third pane, you can add dynamic reference lines to provide focus for important trends or insights to your data. 
probably you are interested in the average value of your data. So you can easily add a line in here that appears inside your visual. If you are now are happy with your changes to your report, you can save it. That was a really short overview of some of the opportunities to edit reports. Please also have a look at the other videos for Pranex Smart BI, but also please visit the videos from Microsoft. Thank you very much for watching.